Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Lisa and today I'm gonna to show you around my kitchen. We're gonna go through my fridge, freezer, and pantry and see what I have left on hand um, at the end of a pay cycle. So today is Wednesday and I get paid on Friday. So what I wanna to do today is look at all the things that I have on hand and create a meal plan and then see where the gaps are so that I can figure out what I'm gonna need from the grocery store. So let me turn you around and I'm gonna share those things with you. Over here, I've got my fruit. So I'm good on canned fruit. I actually haven't been gravitating to this lately, but as I am filming and I'm looking at this pineapple, I have cottage cheese in the fridge. So I might pop one of these in the refrigerator to get the pineapple cold and have uh, pineapple on cottage cheese. So this is all of the fruit. I've got pears, peaches, there's um, what mixed fruit, kind of like fruit cocktail, and lots of pineapple. <clears throat> Over here where I've got all of the kind of like canned goods and things, we still have lots of cereal. I don't think my daughter has gravitated this. We probably need to check it and see if it's stale. My guess is it probably is. Um, right here, we've got some mashed potatoes that are instant. I've got uh, white rice still. This has been here for a while. I got this for when I'm sick and I just don't care to cook. Uh, and I'm on the brat diet. I have some Tabasco. I don't like this ready rice. I may just donate this and put it in the food box up at the local church. I did use one of the um, marinades. You'll see that in a bit. Still have uh, lots of ketchup and soy and teriyaki left. Uh, my mom and dad spoil me and my mom got me these off of Amazon. They're edamame beans that are dried and seasoned. She got me the plain ones. She also got me buffalo, and then this one is ranch. So I haven't broken into the bigger packs yet, but I have been eating these individual portions. Still have lots of drink mix left. I haven't actually reached for this. Daisy is squeaking her toy, sorry about that. <laughs> I've got lots of tea and then I've got uh, some, you know, uh, convenience creamer here. If I were to ever run out and need something real quick, I don't use that on the regular at all. Down here, I've got some snacks. We've got Ritz crackers left over from when I was sick. My dad got these from Sam's, I think, or Costco. He didn't like them, so they sent it home with me. I've got plenty of cream of soups, uh, pizza sauce, some soup over here. And then all the canned goods, I got enchilada sauce, tomatoes, evaporated milk, um, refried beans, chili tomatoes, tomato sauce, rotel, uh, tomato paste, quick and easy um, spaghetti sauce. My daughter likes it when I make my own with crushed tomatoes and things, but good to have on hand. We got lots of beans, chickpeas, black beans. I've got some coconut milk here, some quick and easy soup green beans, beans, bean sprouts for when my daughter makes egg rolls using my mom's recipe. I've got some baked beans here and some diced tomatoes. Here are all of the spices. We have tons of things. I won't bore you with all the details, but just know that we have lots and lots of spices. It's about six in the morning, maybe, maybe 5.30. No, it's 6.20. Holy moly. That's right. Yeah, 620. Holy moly. Okay, so I'm still working on coffee. So here I've got plant-based ground beef, a um, couple of things of veggies. I still have blueberries up here. My daughter has the Simply Steam Broccoli. I uh, still have tofurkey and uh, veggie dogs. And then over here I have some chicken that my daughter bought. My daughter keeps buying bagels. Oh my God. And I keep having to throw them in the freezer because she doesn't eat them and then they go bad and I don't want them to spoil. So I throw them in the freezer. Um, this is some chicken that I bought and I use that marinade. Like I was saying, I just, uh, it was kind of like a freezer meal kind of idea. I just put the, um, 
what is it, the seasoning in here and freeze it. We This is chicken here. Again, lots of bagels, veggie burgers. This is some soup that I made or kind of like a stew. I probably need to pop out the portions and put them in baggies and then wash my containers. But a lot of this is bread. Um, and then we do have some meat, but it, this is mostly bread. <laughs> Jesus, stop buying bread and eat out of this freezer. So that's everything here. I hear my team's going off. People are already at work. It's not time for me to go to work yet. Then we have the fridge. I did splurge and get a big thing of water. Um, don't have any soda on hand, so that's that. This is probably bad by now. We have some very sad looking veggies that need to be tossed. Uh, flour tortillas, plenty of creamer back there. My cottage cheese, eggs, my sourdough starter, sour cream, butter, applesauce, and then just all the condiments. So this is everything in the fridge and freezer. <clears throat> and then up here, Above the stove is where I have like the dry goods. So have some instant oatmeal. There's flour, sugar, brown sugar, uh, banana bread mix, all of my oils, quick oats, all the rices, you know, tea, cooking spray, nothing too exciting. And then over here is where I've got all of my pastas, some more oil, honey, more honey. <laughs> Same hamburger helper. We really need to eat that up before it goes bad. Mac and cheese and stove top. And then over here, we just have some odds and ends. I did take the pretzels and creamy peanut butter to my son's house when I was keeping the grandbaby. So all I have is crunchy left and I do have some natural peanut butter uh, left as well. So now I'm going to grab a piece of paper and, well, not just any piece of paper. Let's go over to the fridge here. And I'm going to grab my Clever Fox weekly meal planner and shopping list. I'm gonna get a meal plan together and then I'm gonna share it with you. So let me go ahead and grab this, sit down, make a plan, and I'll be right back with you. Okay guys, let's get started with the meal plan. I haven't given this any thought at all, Let's see, remembering what I have in my fridge, freezer, and pantry, what can I make? I do want a meal prep uh, sheet pan meal. I did that this last week, and that really worked out well for me. It was chicken and veggies, and I'm going to do that again uh, for this week. So I do want to pick up some veggies, and I think I want to do zucchini and I'm probably not going to spell this right, so don't come for me in the comments about my spelling. Uh, we're gonna get some squash and some onion. And I probably will need chicken because I don't think there's enough in the freezer for what I want to make. I want to make a big sheet pan meal. So I'll probably do that. Um, so for breakfast uh, this next week, so this will be the week of, this will be like the 12th through the 18th. I should probably put that up here, 12th through the 18th. And this is April, by the way, of 2024. Um, all right, so breakfast, I'm gonna do oatmeal. and coffee. And what I usually do when I'm making a meal plan like this is I eat the same things pretty much all week. So I give myself a couple of options so I don't just get super bored. But uh, oatmeal and coffee will be one breakfast. I'll do eggs and cottage cheese. Cheese. So 
so I do need to put cottage cheese on the list. Because I don't have enough for the rest of this week and next week. And then I could also do a cottage cheese and fruit. So that's another option. Uh, what else could I do? Um, I think I have cream cheese in there, so I could do bagel. I actually have a lot of options. And cream cheese. Because I do have, I, I probably didn't like point it out in the fridge, but I do have whipped cream cheese in there. And I even think my daughter has some uh, whipped strawberry as well. Um, we could do pancakes. And this is just to give myself some ideas um, for the week. Not that I'm going to eat all of these different things. Um, <clears throat> What else could we do with what is on uh, in the pantry right now? I could definitely do toast with peanut butter. Um, actually, it's not going to be Saturday. Um, toast with PB. Because breakfast, this is breakfast at mom's. And dad's mom. And dad's. I don't need anything for breakfast. And I may even stay for lunch. It just kind of depends. So my lunches is where I'm going to, lunch and dinner is where I'm going to do this uh, meal prep. What I uh, did this week that worked really well is I did four days worth. Anything longer than four days in the fridge and Honestly, I am not eating it. There's just no way that's going to happen. And I said this was the 12th through the 18th, but that is not true. It's really going to be the 15th through Sunday, which is the 21st. Yeah, 21st. Um, so I'll just have to eat out of the pantry until then. Okay, so lunches and dinner is all the same. So I'm going to do uh, chicken and veggies and that's going to be day, the first four days. Sheet pan meal, chicken and veg. I don't need any snack stuff. I feel like I have plenty of that. So that's, this is day four, chicken and veg. And then Friday, I don't know if my daughter's working, but one day we'll probably cook a pizza. My daughter has plenty of those in her freezer. Uh, Saturday, What will we do Saturday? Maybe I can get her to cook something on the Blackstone Grill. She'll probably get steaks. And during the week, when I meal prep like this, she's not going to eat what I eat. She just won't. She's not going to go and eat leftovers like that. So she's just going to have to be on her own or... Um, you know, maybe I'll just do lunches for myself. Maybe we'll eat dinner together, uh, eat something different with what's already in the pantry or something that she has purchased. Um, and then I'll freeze the rest. So that's kind of like a loose plan. And then for Sunday, uh, let's see. Lunch, probably breakfast and lunch at mom and dad's. They feed me pretty well over there. Um, and maybe on Sunday we will eat out. Maybe she'll, uh, Carolyn will run by uh, Sonic or McDonald's or something, possibly. She, actually, she's not, no, I, I take that back. She's not going to be here Sunday. 
So definitely won't be eating out. Maybe I'll make some spaghetti. And that can take me into this next week where I can make a portion of noodles, make all of my sauce, and then freeze the sauce for another day. So um, steaks or spaghetti, maybe I'll just do some leftovers on Sunday. Maybe I'll do spaghetti on Saturday. Steaks is a question because it really depends on whether or not she wants to go to the store. Um, I'm good on coffee creamer for now. There, I don't have any, we probably need milk. Um, I have lots of seasonings on hand. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I'm gonna need for the week. I can't think of anything because I really do have a lot um, on hand. Uh, so if none of this, let's just say one day I, I don't care to do any of this and we want to do something different, we can always, you know, pull something out of the freezer. But I think this is a good loose plan for the week. So oatmeal, uh, chicken and veggies, bagels, cottage cheese and fruit, pancakes with syrup, pizza, spaghetti steaks, uh, and breakfast at my mom and dad. So I think that's everything. So this is a very small grocery list. I'll go ahead and put this into my Walmart app and show you a picture over here and let you know how much that total uh, roundabout is going to be for the week. I have a $50 budget for food and household supplies um, for Walmart. And then uh, later on in the week, you'll see probably a short, since this is such a tiny list, I'll probably do a short for my grocery haul for uh, this week. Okay, guys, I have plugged everything into the Walmart app, and this is what we're looking at. So half uh, a gallon of milk for $2.14, 24 ounces of cottage cheese, $2.67, Jumbo eggs, 12 count, $2.58. One uh, yellow Vidalia onion, 70 cents. Four yellow squash, $3.56. Four zucchini, $3.72. And a family pack of boneless, skinless chicken, is $12.18. So when I added all of that up, it comes to $27.55 before tax. Okay, so estimated taxes of 76 cents brings my total to $28.31. So definitely well within my $50 budget for the week. So if I subtract 50 from that, um, I should have, you know, $21.69 or about $20 left over after this grocery shop. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for supporting my channel. And I hope that you guys have a great day or night wherever you're at. Bye.